Hello and welcome to HAL 2.0 in Las Vegas. My name is Lee and would you kindly introduce yourself and tell us about who you are, your business and what you do. Okay, thank you Lee. Well, my name is Dave Nguyen. I'm the CEO of Brain Screenology. We create a software called Shape Genie. And what this software does is it measures shapes uh, better than area and volume, which is the traditional way of doing it. And it works amazingly well for medical images. That's pretty awesome. And um, how can your software reduce the problems of racial and gender bias in medical AI, artificial intelligence? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a great question, thank you. And so, you know, the shapes of the organs inside the body, right, uh, they're complicated, but there are subtle differences between, uh, you know, different uh, genders and of course, different uh, you know, races and ethnicities. And so because our software can measure subtle differences very well, we're able to find these differences a lot more easily. Right, or allow scientists to do so a lot more easily. So what are, just can you, um, to the person on the outside like me, what would be some examples that they would, that your software would be able to uh, detect, you know, and say some, versus you versus me, you know, mm -hmm. how, how is it able to identify that? Yeah, and so, uh, for example, if you do like a brain MRI, right, mm -hmm. inside our brain, there's these caverns, we call ventricles, and those are affected in like dementia, like Alzheimer's, say. Right? And they change shape in very specific ways as you know, the disease progresses. Mm -hmm. But depending on the, you know, your race or you know, ethnicity, right, there's a, even a, a slightly different subtle change. Right? Think of it as two strands of spaghetti on your dinner plate. Mm -hmm. right? you, your eye tells you they're both very squiggly. Right. Right? But you can't quantify that objectively. It's very subjective. Right? And that's the problem that radiologists deal with. Right? Mm -hmm. They're trying to interpret spaghetti strands. <laughs> <laughs> Never right? thought and, of it that yeah, way. Yeah, right. And and you know, <laughs> and deciding whether or not you're going to live or die in six months, or what treatments you get, right? So that's the challenge that radiologists face. So we create a software to help them be better, more mm -hmm. objective at it, objective at it, mm -hmm. because we can quantify every single strand of spaghetti, right, in a way that area and volume, the traditional methods just can't, but we can. Wow, you're saving lives for sure. And AI methods like deep learning require a lot of training data before it can accurately detect disease, such as Alzheimer's, dementia, you mentioned. So how does Shape Genie, tell us more about Shape Genie, overcome this problem? Yeah, and so because the shapes in your organs, like your brain folds or your heart valves or the vessels in your eye, right, these are very odd shapes. Um, measuring area and volume creates what we call very noisy data. Mm. right? And so deep learning AI requires a lot of images of what is healthy versus what is diseased before it can accurately say, uh, you know, predict what is you know, uh, healthy versus disease when you give it a new patient. But because our method is so much more sensitive than area and volume, right, you can find differences using a smaller sample size, mm -hmm. right, which is typically what the typical doctor or scientist has. Right? You only see several hundred patients you know, saying a month, mm -hmm. right, and that's your data set. Right? So you can find differences with the data you have. Right? Once you, uh, then once you find those differences, then you add more samples, right? Otherwise, who's going to go through the effort adding more samples if you didn't find anything interesting to begin with? Right. right? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So you are a Hell 2.0 conference honoree. Congratulations on winning um, such a prestigious award. Can you tell us how does that make you feel? Well, it feels great. I mean, uh, you know, I put in a lot of work to do this, but, you know, uh, behind every award is a team. Of course, you know, we have investors and uh, supporters, my co-founders, whatnot. And so really, you know, these awards typically go to one person, but uh, you know, I have to, you know, uh, give a shout out to my team and all the support, uh, you know, that has led to, you know, this recognition, which to me, I see as a recognition of our company, our product, right? Though I'm the one receiving it. Right. So. right. And what advice would you give to someone wanting to follow in your footsteps? I would say, uh, I guess, uh, go slowly. It's a journey, right? It's a marathon. Your career is a marathon, not a sprint. If you try to sprint in a marathon, you're gonna lose. <laughs> Watch any marathon, <laughs> right? And it's, it's about you know, how long you last and building a strong professional network, right? So whatever you do along the way, try to turn your goals into something that will benefit other people's goals, right? When it adds meaning to your life, right? And this other centric philosophy of work, right? Ends up um, winning you friends and partnerships because at some point you're gonna need help from somebody, right? Whether it's a phone call or introduction Right, and you have to earn the, that trust for that person to put their reputation on the line. None of that can be rushed.
Great advice. Thank you. And then how has your networking and um, collaborating experience been to, at Health 2.0? Is this your first conference? Yeah, the first time at Health 2.0. It's been mm -hmm. great. Uh, we're meeting uh, movers and shakers mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, collaborations. I think magic happens when like-minded people come together. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, nowadays in the age of social media, attention is the commodity, right? And when you have a bunch of people in the same place thinking about the same things, right, uh, you know, magic happens. Mm -hmm. Great. And tell us how we can find you to further collaborate and reach out to you online. Yeah, you can email me at uh, Dave, D-A-V-E, at brainscanology.com. Uh, and our website is brainscanology.com. So. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Learn something new. Appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the conference and enjoy Vegas. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me. <laughs>